Professor, have you heard? They say we've finally located the enemy. It seems they're hiding in the sealed forest, right near the monastery. Lady Rhea has summoned all of the knights to return and take them down. And all of this is being done in secret. Why? To keep us... No. To keep you in the dark. Lady Rhea likely assumed you wouldn't be able to stop yourself from confronting the enemy if you knew their location. I knew they'd that be in the cell for us. That's not how the story ends, is it? Professor, we're at the ready. Order us to depart, and we'll fight at your side. No, I will not allow it. What? This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. Oh. They are the ones who took Gerald from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. It's actually smart, but yeah, we don't have a choice. <laughs> I mean, they're 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 onto something there. It's probably a trap. You can't stop me, though. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. Lady Rhea, Seteth, please try to understand our reasoning before you refuse. I have no idea what to expect in this mission. With most of the knights still far away, we cannot afford for you two to leave the monastery undefended. The enemy's strength is yet unknown. The only warriors who likely stand a chance are those who wield relics. With all that in mind, it's obvious who should be dispatched, is it not? If the Professor leaves, we will go as well. We've already made preparations and are ready to depart at a moment's notice. You still need a relic, Dimitri. Surely you must see that we cannot wait any longer for the knights to gather. Please, do what must be done and give us the order. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. You got it, Rhea. You Raya. have the protection of the goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. No matter what enemy we face, we will not fail. I promise you that. Oh boy. You've done me a great service. Monarch Studies Book. Empire Youths. Alright. Okay, we're going into this month's battle, aren't we? Um, certifications. Felix. Where are you at? You almost there? We could try again. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to try again. Alright, let's put this on a new line. Um, we're going to look at some certifications, then we're going to do some supports, then we're going on this damn mission, and we are going to destroy our enemies. They killed Geralt. I am angry about it, and I will murder them. I will. And Felix... 65%, you're going to pass this exam. I believe in you. Ha <laughs> ha! We got it! He's very close to his A rank. We still got to get him to his A rank, but there we go. Easy. Yes. Okay. And next, you are going to the Savant. Mortal Savant. Sword and Reason. So, cool. Great. Fantastic. Brilliant. I love it. Okay, we'll leave his goal on the sword until he gets that A rank, then we're going to mainline reason. Okay, he can get good at reason. It's a weakness right now, but it won't be for very long. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, Swordmaster. Now, what was that? What was his uh, class skill for that?
Oh yeah, sword fair and sword crit. Okay, attack plus five when using a sword, crit plus 10 when using a sword. Awesome. Don't I have like a crit ring? I gave it to him already, didn't I? Yes, he's already got it on. Oh my god, he's gonna crit non-stop. Oh boy. Okay. Let's sell. I think we've got some bullions. Do we have them in anybody's inventories right now? No. Oh yeah, that's for Daydu. And I don't know who I'm going to give the Dex one to. Oh, we've got more certifications to look at. Um, who else? You're all good. And he's good. You're good. So it's all the way down here. So Bernie and Leone. Only a 66% chance, huh? You're not quite there with your bow. Where are you at, B? B plus. Oh my god, you are like right on the verge. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait till next time because next time it'll be a hundred percent. Because she'll definitely have her bow day then. Um. Okay, Leone. Seventy-six percent on the paladin. Your writing isn't quite there. Let's save again. Just be extra safe. Have I bought all my advanced sales? this month. Yes. You got this, Leone. Damn. You've got to be kidding. Okay, was there anybody else? Those two are almost there. In fact, how close are you? Be your higher in writing, and where is your writing? C plus. Okay, you're very close as well. At the beginning of next month, we'll probably be able to do that. You two are already in your advanced classes. So Cyril, great. Okay, um, let's do whatever supports we have. Dato and Mercy. Ah, I think I get it. So the Sky God got into an argument with the Earth God, then Dusker was created? To oversimplify it somewhat, yes. <laughs> There's something so mysterious about it. There are only mountains separating us from Dusker. But it's like a completely different world. This has been so interesting. I've never learned so much about it before. There are not many left to pass on the legends of Dusker. Really? That's a shame. It's almost like when someone dies, or a family line ends. I think a place is only truly destroyed when there's no one left to remember it. You should tell more people about Dusker to keep it alive. That is a strange thing to say. Oh? Why do you think that? Dusker is forever the enemy of Fargus. No one cares about our culture or history. I'm different, though. I don't know anyone who was killed by the people of Dusker. I don't hold a grudge against you, and I never have. Um, Dudu? Is this recipe from Dusker? You don't care for it. No, no. I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Would you teach me how to make it soon? But it seems I am ever the teacher with you, and seldom the student. You're right. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, I have an idea. My mother taught me to bake the perfect sweets to go with tea. Would you like to learn how to bake them? 
It's a secret Martreats family recipe that's been passed down for generations. House Martreats of the Empire? I thought they were no more. It's true. My father's family was wiped out in the Empire. I'm the last living descendant. Oh, wow. Are you certain you wish to impart such precious memories to me? Of course. Now that my family's gone, I'm the only one who knows the secret. I know that the church took her in. And she has some kind of adoptive family um, that was trying to marry her off in Ingrid's support. So she has an adoptive father. She was taken in by the church for a while. She is a noble. Um, I thought her mother and her were both taken in by the church, but maybe her mother died, or maybe that's true, and her mother died later. The sweets Anyways. would vanish from Fodlin if something happened to me. I see your point. <laughs> It's making me hungry. Talking yes, about food. I would like to learn. Okay, so it seems like she's a good bake good at baking, but maybe bad at everything else cooking wise. Hey, Bernie and Leone. Oh cool, this will be their their last one. Um here. I patched up the clothes you gave me. Hey, thanks. You've helped me a lot lately. I feel like I should be doing this stuff myself. But ever since you patched up my sleeve, I've been really interested in your craft. Craft? Uh, you mean my embroidery? Yeah. When I saw what you were doing, I thought, what the heck is that? But it turned out to be a nice touch, once I was actually wearing it. Practical, too. When you're embroidering, you patch up the torn parts with new cloth, right? And that strengthens it, so the same part won't break as easily next time. <sighs> I'm glad you like it. At first, I felt like you thought it was stupid. I was worried you secretly hated me or something. It made me pretty scared to show you my stitching. <laughs> Sorry. I should have told you I liked it. Thanks, Bernadetta. I'm glad I asked for your help. Oh, um, it's nothing. Yeah, get some self-confidence, you Bernie. You're awesome. A hornet, huh? You do like the scary critters, don't you? It zips out from the trees and strikes, just like you. So she likes I bugs? like a hornet, do I? Actually, I like that. You know, you want to be more confident. Right? Well, what? You tell her, Leone. I like You're you too, Leone. You're good enough at sewing that you can make a living out of it. You should take pride in that. Oh, no, 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 no. I could never do that. Trust me, I'm completely useless. Oh, that's not true at all. You've been a great help. Maybe I'm a better fighter, but I've got nowhere near the same skill at sewing. We can help each other. Isn't that what friends do? Friends? We're friends? Hey, come on. I know you're not the most confident, but this is getting silly. Of course we're friends. I completely trust you. <laughs> Leone? Yeah? Get your clothes torn up as much as you want. I'll always be Whoa. here to patch them right up. <laughs> right, for sure. But I wasn't just talking about embroidery, you know. Hey, Leone and Shamir. Cool. Why am I so off? Yesterday wasn't like this. Some days I just can't seem to hit anything. Your mind, body, and technique are not synchronized. Find harmony between the three. You lack experience. You'll improve if you practice. Now that you mention it, Shamir, how come I've never seen you train? Do you keep odd hours? Or are you just so good that you don't even need it anymore? I am always training. Look <laughs> here. A dagger. Watch. Wow, nice throw. That was a long one. But does throwing knives at pillars really count as shooting practice? Look closely. Is that a centipede? You pierced it clean in half. How oh, did good. you even see that? I freaking hate centipedes. I train everything. Eyes, speed, accuracy. Like, I'm not scared of snakes. I'm not scared of spiders. I've held giant snakes. I've held tarantulas. But I freaking hate centipedes. Hate them. Oh, they're the worst. Ugh. Watch as the bird flies. Feel the wind. Recognize the distance between objects. 
Not all training requires a weapon. Integrate training into your daily routine. My daily routine, huh? Well, that's great advice. Thanks. I'll do my best. Very good. Just be cautious. Okay. The Sealed Forest Snare, level 19. In the pursuit of justice for Geralt, you and your students find yourselves deep in the sealed forest. Let's go. The sealed forest is up ahead. Stay alert. This is going to be this a trap. Captain Gerald. We already know it is. I will not falter. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. Leave it to us, professor. I'll give it my all. Fighting Tomas. It will be difficult. That's for certain. Hopefully we I get to kill really him. I love the idea of fighting people I know. Even if it's Tomas? I mean, you saw that shit. Mercy. Don't don't give him any breaks here, all right? If it's Thomas, if it's Monica, if it's Flame Emperor, if it's that other old guy that was a mage, we're going to murder them. We don't have a choice. Even if it's difficult, an enemy is an enemy. We've just got to get it over with. Yep. Just kill them from behind. As long as <laughs> you don't see their faces, you won't know if you know them. We won't know unless we see their face. Yes, I suppose that is true. Professor? I hope you know I meant what I told you before. Your enemy is my enemy. And I will follow you until the end. Whatever that end may be. That's reassuring. Yes, right. We'll fulfill our duty together. We've come this far. We can't stop now. I hope you know that you can rely on us. No matter who the enemy is, we are prepared to cut them down. Yes. No matter who they may be. Hmm. You got a lot of lot of resolve, Dimitri. Why, thank you so much. I think I've picked up on some things. Thanks so much. I'm not gonna spoil it, but I think I've picked on picked up on uh Thank you. Yeah. They've they've laid the clues out Much for us. Some of you some of you have figured it out along with me, but for those of you that haven't and don't want it to be spoiled, I won't spoil it. Okay, let's look at our map. Ooh, we got a mix of beasts and other people and people. Okay chest. Alright, so let's think about this. We just classed um, Felix out of the thief, so I'm an assassin. I can open it, and Ash can open it, and I think that's it. So Byleth or Ash will need to open that thing, or we'll have to put a chest key on somebody. How many enemies, or how many units can we bring in? Ten with two adjutants. Great. Alright. Ooh, it's Monica. She's an assassin. She's gonna be fast. Oh my god, her speed is 32. She'll be able to double everybody. I don't think anybody can hold up to that speed. Her strength isn't like super, super high, but it's it's high enough. Like, she's, she's gonna do damage, that's for sure. But her defense and her resistance are not anything super special. Um... Okay, she gets a plus five attack when using a sword, which is what she's got. Ath Athame? She's got like a special weapon too. Hot damn. Stealth makes it more difficult for foes to target the unit. So her hit. Avoidance plus 30. With a foe two or more spaces away, so ranged attacks. 
And look at those yellow icons around her. A lot of people have died against her. Oh shit. Does she have high dex? She has decent dex. Alright. No battalion and no combat arts. So that's something. I guess. <laughs> um, six. Might six. Okay. Oh my god. Crit 20. So she's got a sword that has pretty decent crit on it as well. That's scary. Okay. Well, we kind of have an idea of what we're going to go up against. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my inventory and battalions and abilities and all of that stuff. And then I will come back and show you guys what I've got. So I'll see you all in just a second. Okay, 30 minutes later, I am ready to go. I, like, completely redid everybody's inventory and everything. So... Um, units and inventory is going to be right here so we've got by left if you want to see their inventory look on the left hand side uh, by left has Bernadetta as the adjutant we've got Daedu we've got Sylvain whose adjutant is Flane we got Dimitri Felix Annie Ash Mercy Ingrid and Cyril so, just looking at this, um, I do have the experience gem on Dimitri, but yeah, okay. Now as for abilities, I'm going to let you guys see what I've got set up here. I don't think I really changed anything around on this. So that's what we're looking at there. I believe I didn't change anything. Now combat arts, this changed a bit. Um, I've got a little mix of uh, monster stuff as well as Helm Splitter and Night Dealers in here. So, this is what we've got here. And Battalions, I did change those around a bit, so this is what I've got here. Oh, Daydu doesn't have one. Let's get him one. What do I want to give him? Impregnable wall. That might be good on him. Mm. Sure, why not? Physical attack plus two, magic attack, good, all right. Cool, let's do that. So this is what I've got. Felix doesn't have one. And I don't actually have one that Cyril can use yet, so we need to work on his authority. Welcome. Let's go ahead and replenish this. Okay, that's good. Come back soon. And now we should be good to go. Let's set up our map. I haven't put my order yet. Now, something to note. This guy is weak to spears. This one is weak to swords. You can see that on the icon right there, the down with the sword. You can also click on this. And I believe if you go into info, they're up here. So right there, weakness, swords. So that will probably play into what I choose to do here as well. Sword up here. Spears on this side. So you're a sword, you've got swords. Now, bow. I don't know which direction he's gonna go. My flyer. And Daydu will have to just pick a direction to go, I think. Okay, let's save and get going. Thirty minutes set up. Defeat the enemy commander. Byleth or Dimitri Demonic falls beasts. in battle. The enemy was always intending to lure us here. Hello, you're here. Welcome. 
welcome to the Forest of Death. <laughs> Screw you, Monica. My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just Kranya, a borrowed that's look right. for me. <laughs> Whoa. This is what I really look like. Now, cool design, Vernon, actually. I'll take down every last one of you. All right, here's the thing. I hate you because you murdered Geralt, and I'm going to murder the crap out of you. But... You've got a pretty cool ass design, not gonna lie. Is that a tail? What the? Huh. Alright. There's like three of them coming out. Don't know if it's a tail or if it's just like a really cool costume. Alright, Kranya. Alright. Okay. Okay, there's one mage this direction, and there's a mage that direction. There's a heavy over here, as well as some knights. Um, I think I'm going to head north with Cyril, because there's only one bowman here, and there's two over here. Ready when you are. So Cyril's going to have to be a little bit careful. I'll go. Go this way. What should I do? Here we go. Send you this way, and I'll, I'll send Ash this way. If this takes too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. <laughs> Look at all those deaths surrounding her. She's gonna be a tough one. Oh god. 19 damage, not bad, dude. So obvious. Good dodge, 26%. Chances were low. Okay. I'm going to take your range off, and I'm going to put your ranges on. So that's what's going to pull people. So if I can avoid these spots here, and we only got to worry about these two. Okay. You have my support. Chance. Okay. Funnily enough, that's perfect. I'm here to help. Victory will be ours. Oh, by the way, I found out, um, noticed that my Sword of the Creator is um, 20 out of 20. It turns out that Umbral Steel, you can use that to repair your um, relic weapons. 
So I repaired my relic weapons on Byleth and on Sylvain. Okay, you're weak to swords. You can probably crit like no other. Um, 28%. And I think, I, yeah, Sunder increases my crit chance. 43% crit, huh? Yeah, just go for that. Guarantee that kill. In fact, I should use it on that, on a second. I know it's kind of a waste, but we have six more charges. I'll try not to be that dumb in the future. Ready when you are. Right, Cyril, can you finish off whatever this guy's got left? Monster Breaker. Steel Axe. Increases crit chance. Two chances at a twenty eight percent. I think I'll take that one actually. Worthless. There it is. Another win. Demonic Beast down. Swordmaster for the win. And now you can heal him. Yeah. So. Good job. Dude, what a crew. Oh my gosh. What a crew. I'll cut through. Alright, now you are gonna kind of do a similar setup here. It's our chance to prevail. I will get stronger yet. Good level up. Dude, he is so strong. Is that 29 damage now. Yeah, 28 damage. What have you got, Byleth? 21? Dude. Dimitri is strong. Okay. Now, what do I have on you guys? So you got that lance attack. I'm on it. Darn, I wish I could get into those trees. That doesn't put us into range of those uh, those guys up there. Let's do a similar thing. Perfect. Oh yeah, I forget. He's not a cavalier, so he doesn't have as much movement as they do. Gotcha. Ooh, I need to unequip his uh, relic. What should I do? Killer. Can you kill this guy? You can. You're gonna draw those other two. But I think you can I think you can handle it. Nice try. Seems You're like so the Ingrid. Oh my gosh. We've got three of those magic staffs. Now. Here we go. One health bar. Twenty-eight 
25. You hit a 25. Good, good for you. Guess you earned it, man. Hmm. I'm not at my best today. Eh. You got a strength up at least. I mean... Holy shit, she's stronger than Violet. Is. I didn't realize her strength was so far up there. I aim for greatness. Oh my god. Okay, Monster Breaker, you can attack me back. It's going to do 36 damage. 11% crit chance, too. Didn't land it, but my god, they do. Okay, who am I giving this to? <laughs> Might be you, Mercy. Fifteen percent. If that with that one, you'll be able to just down. It. Let's keep our guard up. Be gone. Dude, you are badass as a hero, man. Cool design. I love it. It took some work to get him there, but like, seriously, Sylvain? He can use any weapon he wants at this point. Like, he's got he's got skills and everything. Look at that. C plus sword. C plus axe. B spear. And he's got a little bit of a thorn. Okay, who you drawing? Two bows? They probably got free range, but... Um, you two can support each other. Thanks. Ooh, you know what I needed to do? I needed to send Ash over here. Give it my all. What else is up there? You guys gonna be okay over here by yourself? I think they will. Alright, we'll send Ash over that direction. Okay, we need to take care of that bow user before he can move in. Choice. Obliterated with wind. A mage who should have had resistance. Good God. Stay focused. <laughs> Next time, fourteen percent, and he procked it. Stronger, huh? We'll see. Strength. Oh, I missed it. I looked away for one second. It's our first hammer in this game, actually. Good try. I mean, you would have even if you hit, you would have done zero damage. Imagine being hit with an arrow and having it do nothing to you. Good dodge. Saw that coming. Good effort. I can I can tell you're trying, but that hit percentage was literally zero. <laughs> oh my gosh! Unbelievable. 
I'm, I'm eating through these guys. Just absolutely demolishing them. Hand axe, really? Weird. Mace and steel axe. How much inventory do you have? Screw your steel bow. Um. Almost another level up. Is that the horse? You're not gonna move, right? According to this, you're not gonna move. Kills. I was going to get two attacks. He murdered him with one. Right. And you crit with the first one. Nice. Yeah, save that durability, dude. I expect no less. Oh, I did forget to mention that I gave Daydu the Shoes of the Wind for a plus one move. And I also gave Felix the Alel Pomegranate for Dex plus one. That worked out. Yeah, it did. You are viable now. You really are, Cyril. I'll keep it up. Well done, dude. No, oh, it's just that guy. Oh, you can't quite make it, Daydu. Who do I want to give this to? 21, 21, 22. You're not going to make it. You saved me. It's you. I don't even need a horse slayer. Pretty sure. I 
I owe you one. Over already. Yeah. Who needs a horse slayer when your strength is as freaking massive as mine? Speed ring. Ooh. I might keep that on me. Me being Ash. I feel more powerful. Whoa! Deck speed, luck, defense, and what was that? Charm at the bottom? Oh, is she gonna move now? See what this looks like. All the way to one. Crit's only five, actually, but look at the hit chance. All right, what I'm gonna do right here is finish stacking up before I move in. Thank you. Day do now five one two three four five. You're not getting into this fight. Yeah, should have put Sylvain in front. Okay, you can reach with range. You won't be able to. You won't be able to reach. So you, 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 and you. Everybody else isn't going to be able to reach. And my sniper is way down here. I'll wait to move her after we've seen what happens with these guys. I'm just trying to give the kill to you. You're a fool to be so brazen. You'll never avenge oh, your father. It was father like a 34 percent. <laughs> I'll have to kill you too with my own hands. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Stay focused. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, how cute! You're trying so hard! But now it's time to die! Stronger. I can feel it. was that sorcery? What happened to our professor? They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. To think, we almost had the sword of the creator. That's a lie! There's no way the professor is really dead! That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. I do not believe our professor has fallen. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. We cannot abandon hope, your highness. Our professor lives. I know it. You're right. We will save the professor. But first, let's destroy this beast. I'll slice you into a thousand pieces as you watch with horror. You will know true pain before I finally allow you to die. How trite. Dark. But if you wish for pain, I shall oblige. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. Oh, so this is mad. What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Ouch. I'm sorry. Apologizing won't make things right. This darkness is terrifying. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. You and I are one. Hmm. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. Um. 
audience, do you want to tell her or should I? In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I am not. I will not I die. I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... <sighs> there is no other choice. What choice? Do you recall your father's diary? I he do. said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. The progenitor god, huh? And how and why did Rhea put you inside of me? My name is Sothis. By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. Just one second before we continue on. I'm sorry to take this little pause, but... Let's assume for a second that our mother was the sister to Rhea. And let's say that my mother had the goddess within her for some reason. And let's say that Rhea was jealous of that for some reason. Is it possible that Rhea was trying to, when she was giving birth, instead of saving her, she was trying to take the goddess upon herself for some reason and failed and it went into the child instead? Just a thought. I'm wondering. Um, don't answer in the comments if you know if I'm right or wrong. I am Sothis. She I don't want the spoiler. Then returned. I'm just thinking out loud. Somehow I know it to be true. Died and then returned. One thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so I must relinquish all the power that I have to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass, then I shall disappear. No, I don't want that. I don't want you to disappear. What am I going to do without Morgana whispering in my head? Come on, Sotha, stick around. I won't allow it. When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. Aw, oh, man. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Thank you for everything. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits, too, will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. Rescue the little ones. I mean, they're pretty powerful. <laughs> Your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. 
You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? That is you, isn't it? Oh, I'm glad you are safe. I was sure that you would return. Please tell me all that happened to you later. For now, it's imperative that we kill the demon. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there. I think I got it. What should I do? I'll go. I'll give it my all.
Solid.
Here goes. I'm on it. I'm on it. Stay focused. Yeah! I'll go. Is that all? Ready when you are. Guess I'm pretty strong. What should I do? Luck wasn't with you. I'll give it my all. Ready. 
Had to be done. Thanks for that. Gonna save you, buddy. Luck wasn't with you. Dead now. Doing my part. Yeah, Felix, I don't think you're doing much here either. Gosh, look at that. You never had a chance. Let's give it to Byleth if we can. Oh, yep, it's got to be this, right? Got to be. 
I almost want to do this just, just to, oh, just to really get it in there. Unnecessary use, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <sighs> hey, you remember how uh, you and that uh, other girl were involved with uh, murdering my father? Yeah, well, all I gotta say is screw you. I am terrified so, uh, by you. Even you though an emotion be. like fear has no place inside me, that means you must be eliminated. Oh, you're you're gonna no, die, a friend. You got the crit too. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. Beautiful. Now is he gonna escape? I'm not setting a very good eh. example. Yeah, it's not the best. But this is not the end. Talus will carry out our mission somehow. Talus, that's how you say it. I Talus. was thinking Thales. Does he also serve the Flame Emperor? It can't be. You know that name, don't you? Talus. Who is Talus? I don't think we've heard that name other than seeing it on his portrait, so... Oh look, my hair's different on this too. Professor, I'm glad you're okay. And you seem relatively unscathed. I'm... I'm so relieved. What's more, Gerald's foe is dead. Though we took little satisfaction from it. Professor, I must ask. What happened after we were separated? You look... different. The goddess gifted me her power. The goddess appeared and gave you her power? It's as though the legend of old has been made flesh. It's hard to grasp in all honesty. But having seen you pierce the sky with my own eyes, I find myself unable to doubt it. A legend of old? Yes, the legend of Saint Seros. It is said that she received a divine revelation from the goddess and was gifted with her power. Long ago, the goddess dispatched Seros to defeat an evil king who went mad with power. Perhaps the goddess saw the goodness of Seros within you too and wished to help you in your quest to defeat evil. I'm not convinced Seros was completely the good guy in that situation. I think that that legend may be tainted. If you're Seros, granted power by the goddess, then I suppose that makes me... History is written by the winners. Let's never forget that. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm getting carried away. <laughs> well, that was... weird. Professor, what's wrong? Are you... Uh, are you asleep? What <laughs> is happening these days? Well, it matters not. We must get you help, and fast. Well, I have fused with Sothis, and Sothis is super, super tired all the time. Sorry, Professor, but I have no choice but to carry you back. It's alright, I'll forgive you. In time's flow, see the glow of flames ever burning bright on the swift river's drift broken memories alight sorry to pause right here but i also thought of something else Sothis may be linked with the Sword of the Creator, and it was not Seros who had that sword. It was Nemesis. The power of the goddess may have been given to Nemesis. Just saying. Possibly. Professor. 
You must remain still. What happened? Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the goddess. From the moment you took hold of the sword of the creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis, which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. I will be watching over you, always, always and forever. This is either really, really sweet and endearing, or it's terrifying, depending on if she actually has good intentions or not. Rhea, girl, you're pretty, you seem super nice. Don't let the darkness take hold. Oh. oh man. Things are getting real. Oh man. This game is awesome. And I'm pretty sure that I'm like around the halfway mark now. So there's that. Okay. Well, that ep that's where we're going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys will join me next time because things are really starting to get r interesting. Not that it hasn't been interesting up until now, but things are really ramping up. And I feel like we're about to hit a peak. And uh, I think I think we're about mid-game mid, mid -game now. I'm not sure. I don't know how many chapters there are, but I think that we're hitting about mid-game. Um, which is crazy because, I mean, look at this. We've already put 50 hours into this game. Um... Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you all next time.